Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today's video is actually a subscriber's video request and suggestion and idea and I thought it was genius. And this is from Carla Evans, so thanks girl. Um, but she requested that I do like what I want to get done in a day versus what I realistically actually get done in that day. Um, she kind of went and elaborated as such as what you want your diet to look like, workout, work schedule. I'm going to take the diet part out of there. Um, I did work out, however, and that was on my list. I don't plan on doing much work today other than filming because I have a video that I worked on yesterday. It's already edited, ready to go. So I don't have plans, but I do have plans to do a lot of things around the house. So it's going to be a super productive day. Fingers crossed we can get it all done, and I may add on to it throughout the video or whatever, but I have on my phone because I don't know about you guys, but I am totally a phone list girl, not a hand and paper list girl. Um, so I'm going to put it up on the screen, but I want to do 30 minutes of dancing, which I've already done this morning, and I'll show you a little bit of that right now. <laughs> Then this is this is kind of like one of those things. It's like like the dreaded task day. That's what today is like doing all of the dreaded tasks that I've been putting off that I really need to do, but haven't gotten done yet. That is today. So yeah, that is my list. We're gonna see how much we can get done. I am thinking if there's something that does not get done on this list, it's going to be the organization of the closets. I think that's kind of far-fetched, but if we don't get it done, then I will just include it in a cleaning video that I'm going to do this week. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and mm, let's go ahead and knock off 30 minutes of dancing off the list because we've already done that. And we're going to go Windex some car windows. Plus today, by the way, is like really warm. It's like 80 something degrees. So, hmm. No, actually it's going to be 88, so it's going to be almost 90. So I need to go ahead, it's 11.07, I need to go ahead and do the outside things first so I'm not sweating all of this beautiful makeup that I just put on. All right, let's do this. So I started out with doing the car windows first and Windexing them. They were so dirty, you guys. Look at that. That is just disgusting. They hadn't been done. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Like, literally, I'm talking years I think I've had this car for four years. I've probably never done it before, not gonna lie. Uh, by the way, I wanted to mention that the cleaner that I use is my own cleaner and it's really, it really does a great job at not leaving streaks. I Every time I think I get a good uh, bottle from somewhere else, like Grove or the store or something, it ends up being streaky as crap and I just have a lot of mirrored furniture around and I can't be dealing with streaks. So this little vinegar water and alcohol concoction is like perfection and you can also add essential oils in if you want as well to make it smell better. But I don't mind the vinegar scent. It goes away. You smell it. It smells like vinegar when you're wiping it down, but it goes away really quickly. So it doesn't bother me. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turn into nights on the couch In your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day
So next thing to get done is to go in the back and wipe down the gray chairs. I got these chairs from Walmart in their garden section and I love them. They are nice and sturdy and they also have a little cup holder on the side but they were just covered in pollen so I needed to wipe them down and I also ended up wiping down my windowsill as well because that was really nasty. Um, but I wanted to mention that I am using Mrs. Meyer's all-purpose spray. I think it was in, no, it's not the peony. It's the honeysuckle. And I think that's what it is, geranium. It's one or the other. But I wanted to mention that I have a link down below. It's where I get um, all of my Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products is Grove Collaborative. And uh, through my link, if you are a new member, you will get six free products. So highly recommend. I love Glo Grove Collaborative. Oh my gosh. And now we are headed out to the front to wipe down the door, the shutters, and the rocking chair. And I'm wiping down with the same Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray with a um, microfiber cloth that I also got from Grove Collaborative as well. And I will come running, yeah, every day. Everything has changed every day. Did you guys see that rag? It was so gross. Anyways, we are now working on putting together the rocking chair. I really don't know why I waited this long. It, again, was just one of those dreaded tasks I just didn't want to do, but it was so incredibly easy to put together. And I'm so glad that that box is finally out of my dining room. But I wanted to mention that this is the Better Homes and Gardens rocking chair from Walmart. I tried to, or I did, I looked it up to try to link it for you guys but they unfortunately do not have it um in their on their website it's possible that they have them in store though like if you go to your store you may see some rocking chairs and um it has better homes and gardens on the back it has like a little tag a little silver tag on the back that says better homes and gardens so that is the one that I got. I love my rocking chairs. They are perfection and they're exactly what I wanted for my front porch. I just need to add in a, an additional little table 
and I think it'll be all set up there. Baby, when you hold me, I rather lost my senses than be lonely. Cause baby, when you touch me, I feel holy. Oh, nothing in the world will, oh, will kill me as long as I got you. I was running from so you guys have to know what you think i'm definitely gonna get a table eventually to put right there but do they look good the way that they're at or should i put them closer or should i angle them out instead of this way what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below it is now time to make lunch and i was gonna make this mediterranean pasta thing for myself and then something else for the kids but then I saw this and I was like oh we can all eat this so this is just some fettuccine I personally had the this chicken right here it was just some like pre-cooked chicken with some pesto uh the kids just had butter and parmesan cheese but then I also had the parmesan cheese too but yeah it was super quick super easy lunch and it was okay mine was not the best the I'm not crazy about pesto I really it's one of those things it's like I want to like it I want to like it just like avocados I want to like them I want to like them but I don't so I keep trying and every time I'm like ew so my lunch wasn't the best but it was filling so that's all that matters and this right here is the little dash egg cooker it is a must, especially if you love hard-boiled eggs. So I'm going to link that. It is linked down below in my Amazon store. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check it out. And then check out all of my other Amazon favorites as well. We dance together till we got it right. Ups and downs through many days and nights. You appear to be my guiding light. And at the same what lunch looks like show them my plate. I call this poor man's pasta I don't know my mom used to make this for me all the time it was one of my favorites and it's one of their favorites like Ava's yes. legit almost done with hers you guys you see this oh my gosh only three ingredients pasta my yeah. favorite butter one of my favorites parmesan cheese is that girl's favorite <laughs> but yeah here's my pesto pasta and I'm starving, so we're gonna chow down. What time is it? 145. 145, time to eat. I totally forgot to add something to my list. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it right now. So when you guys see it, you're not like, what? But there are some lights out there that ever since we moved in, they've just been stuffed in this 
kennel of Bella's that she never gets in. But when we moved, I stuffed the lights that were the solar lights for outside, I stuffed them in her kennel. So I wanted to put those out front this morning so we can have some lights in our front yard. So I'm gonna put that on there too. So lights in front yard. I was sitting here thinking, I was like, would you guys be interested in like a legit play by play of uh, from the moment you wake up, what you do to the moment you go to bed? Would that interest you guys? If so, let me know in the comments down below. That would be literally like my skincare routine, uh, what I do the moment I wake up from shower to workout breakfast that's not all, it's not all in that order by the way um and then what i have planned for the day and then what i watch that day like everything everything that i do that day would you guys be interested in seeing that and if so what would i name that what would be a good title for it let me know in the comments down below what <laughs> what is that you're making coffee can you make me oh, hot chocolate. You want to make me some coffee? It's only going to be 90 degrees today, but that sounds so good. Make sure you put a good amount of... Okay, this girl right here makes the most epic hot chocolate of life it is so good she actually added a little too much whipped cream so she probably isn't gonna be able to do like what she normally does but i'm telling you this girl's hot Mine's chocolate there. skills are epic she will add so much whipped cream and so much marshmallows and sprinkles oh and when you drink it it's so good This is where the little warmer drawer up underneath my stove was pulled out. This is so satisfying for me to watch. I love watching stuff being vacuumed up. Like it's my favorite thing. I don't know. That's why like it's my my favorite chore is to vacuum and that is why I love seeing things being sucked up. It's just it's so satisfying to me. And now that I know that under there is clean, I'm just super happy. By the way, did I get that in there right? Because it doesn't look like it, although it closes properly. I don't know. Anyways, next we are going to work on trying to get this um, refrigerator pulled out. I could not pull it out and I did not want to mess up the floors or anything like that. So I was just like, you know what? We're just going to leave it. It's okay. So I just kind of vacuumed around it. It's all good. Speaking of vacuums, I have the Dyson V7. Yes, I highly recommend it. It is the best. I love it. I love my Dyson. It is just the best purchase ever. And I also have that linked in my Amazon store, which is linked down below. I highly, highly, highly recommend any of the Dysons, Dyson V7, V8, V11, whichever um, is in your budget, highly recommend for sure. I hear you breathe, but I can't see if you're right here next to me. Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do How to make you see Is it 
is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Now we're over, that's a fact Phrasing light, see it all bright You were never right Back to life, apologize Too soon to say I'm fine Too soon to say I'm fine Oh I don't know what to say, what to do How to make you see This is nothing in real life It might just have been a bad dream you can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel Okay, we vacuumed the drawer under the stove We tried to vacuum behind the fridge. I'm just going to go ahead and check that up off my list because if the fridge would have came out, obviously would have done it. Organize, or no, no, we're not, we haven't done the organize in the closets yet. Um, Windex, mirror, and hallway. And so we have lights in the front yard and organized closets left to do. So it is the next day, Tuesday, the day that you guys are seeing this. So hey, it's actually a couple, only a couple hours before you guys are seeing this. But yeah, um, I looked at the footage from last night and it looks awful. The lighting was horrible, this and that. So I was just like, I'm just going to record a new outro. Basically, the only two things I did not get done was the closets, which that was kind of far-fetched anyways because I have two of them. And I just figured it wasn't going to get done. But I was, I had high hopes. I really did have high hopes because let me tell you what, y'all. Last week, I had tons of energy and I was doing all kinds of stuff around the house. But yesterday, it just hit me and I was like, mm, nope, we, yeah, we have to re re rest and relax. So we did that. And then I told the kids at 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, let's let it cool down. This and that. And then we'll go put the lights, um from we'll go put the lights in the front that was the second thing on the list that i did not get done seven o'clock came seven o'clock went the lights are still sitting in bella's kennel in the backyard so they're not up front it's gonna it's supposed to cool down tomorrow like it's supposed to be like seven it's like 90 something degrees out there now close to alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 87 degrees fahrenheit 87 Tonight. Expect a low of 64 degrees. I didn't ask you all that, but thank you. So tomorrow is supposed to be like 72 or 77, so it's going to be cooler. So it was like we're going to do the lawns. And with that being said, while they're mowing the lawn, or well, can try, I think Ava wants to help him mow the lawn too. So while they are mowing the lawn, I'm going to go ahead and put the lights out up front. And I will post it to my stories. So... You guys are not uh, following me on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. It is Miss Green Eyes fifteen sixteen. Go follow me over there, and that'll do it for this video. If you like this video, let me know. It's something that I would love to do again. Like if you guys really enjoy it, if you really enjoy it, please comment something, like it, share it. That way, I can see the views, and YouTube can share it to more people, and all of that kind of stuff with the algorithm and whatnot. I'm like, what is this? My hair's falling out. That way more people can see it, and then that way I know that you guys do like these kind of videos, and then I will be sure to do, do them again. So huge thank you to, I believe your name was Nancy, for um, recommending that I do this video and asking that I do this video. It was a lot of fun, and it's a really great way to keep me motivated, not gonna lie, because had I not been challenged to do that, not challenged, but requested to do that video, it was, I kind of took it as a challenge, like, yes, let's do this. I'm challenging myself. Had I not done that, the, the, I wouldn't have gotten any of that done. Legit, I would not have gotten any of that done. So 
definitely something to keep me very motivated. Um, and I hope that it motivates you guys to go ahead and do all of those dreaded tasks that you've been waiting on to do as well. So I hope this outro makes sense. I love you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe, click that like button, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.